Hey Aries, welcome to your uh, January 18th, 24th reading. Um, if you are looking for an extended reading, I do have career and love readings available for the month of February. So those links to those are in the description of this video. If you're interested, uh, they're only a few bucks to rent or to buy. So anywho, oh, uh, let's take a look at the week ahead and see what's up. Shall we? All right, we've got a couple, ooh, a few flyer cards. Let's see what's going on. I'm using a new deck today. They're almost the same as my other ones. They're still based on the Rider weight. Uh, but they're like a special edition. They look cool and antique -y and creepy. My cousin gave them to me because she got them from someone and never used them. So anyways, like you give a shit. Okay, let's see what's going on. Let's see. All right. Okay, so um, Aries, I feel like you're not feeling great this week or you, um, you're feeling, I don't know, the word hopeless kind of comes up, which is shitty, like no one should feel like that, but um, let's even just talk about these three flyer cards that we have. So... We've got the Four of Cups, the World, and the Three of Pentacles. And um, the thing is, there is something about you not feeling great that um, you're also not doing anything about it. So um, you are being given opportunities. I feel like the universe is trying to give you gifts or bring you people to make you feel better, bringing you people to help you out. And you're like, no, I'm fine. No, I don't, I don't need that. No, 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 no. So, um, yeah, the universe really is trying to work with you Aries and you're not listening. So, um, another thing that's coming up is, uh, try to focus on something about school is coming up. So whether it's a course that you're in, schooling, um, um, even if it's like a weekend course you're doing, it's like you need to or you're being advised to kind of put your energy into learning because it will make you feel better if that makes sense. So maybe it's just that you need to pick up a book on one of your hobbies that you, or maybe, hey, maybe you like tarot. Maybe you need to pick up a book on tarot just so you're focusing your energy elsewhere. Um, yeah, and the universe is trying to bring you, again, it's trying to bring you people that will help you. Um, you know, um, it's also trying to, it's just trying to get your mind out of the funk. So um, if things financially right now, Aries aren't feeling the greatest or um, if your health doesn't feel the greatest, I do feel like it is going to get better. You're just kind of going through a funk right now. You Emotionally, you're not really there. Physically, you're not really there. Uh, financially, you're not feeling there. You're just kind of feeling blah and you just kind of want to hide under a blanket. And I totally get that. Um, you're definitely being encouraged to have a little fun. I feel like, um, and I know it's COVID, like I fucking get it, but I do feel like maybe it's a good time right now to get together with some friends, like girlfriends, guy friends, whatever it is, but get together with some friends. And it's like, you need fresh air and a fresh start. So, um, and again, remember, when I say things like you're not feeling great or whatever, all this shit is temporary. It's just temporary. This reading's for a week. Fuck it. 
don't worry about it but um it's more of doing this reading and so you know how to navigate through your week so if some of this stuff is resonating with you then yeah um so what else do we have here so there is also a message of love coming your way. So uh, luck is on your side. There is a message of love coming your way. Um, and this, I mean, I'm feeling it more as like falling in love all over again. So this could be an addition to the family. This could be like, you know, um, a pregnancy announcement or a birth of a baby or a pet, a new pet, but it's like falling in love all over again. I also feel like this will help your mental health. So, um, of course, pets always help. Like my pets have gotten through, help me got, get, can I talk? I don't know, can I? Uh, my pets have helped me get through a lot of shit. So totally resonate with that. Now let's see what else we have here. Um, rest is important this week. Sorry, <laughs> I got cut off there because someone was at my door, which is very strange during COVID. But it turned out it was just the UPS person. Anywho, um, you are being advised to... Um, so rest and repose is really important this week. So rest doesn't always mean sleep, um, but it also means you need to give your mind a rest. I feel like your mind is just like tick, 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 tick. And you need to get off that phone like an hour before bed. Don't be on your phone. Like read a book or something or meditate or something. Just clear your head. Um, it's just too much stimulation going on. Um let's see let's see what we got here um i'm just gonna pull a few more cards so we have um we got the star and the moon coming up. And to me, the star has always been my psychic card. So really trust your gut this week. Trust your intuition. Also, we've got the lovers get uh, coming up. Um, the lovers, before you get all excited, the lovers actually does not have to do with lovers. But I feel like there could be a very lucrative partnership when it comes to business or some kind of a project. Um, and also, uh, the lovers, when it pairs up, we've got the two of swords coming up here too. Um, this is also telling me that you have some decisions to make. I feel like you might have some hard decisions to make. So, um, and you're feeling kind of lost as to what to do. Um, basically the message here is if you have some decisions that are kind of, I don't know, it's kind of like they are looming because you keep putting it off. Any step forward is the right decision. You can't fuck it up. So as long as you are moving forward, that is a good thing and you can't screw this up. Um, we've also got... I mean, it's interesting because we have the Knight of Cups come up and then we have the Ace of Cups reverse. So again, I feel like this Knight of Cups, this message of love coming your way, I feel like it has to do more of like a friendship love or a pet love or a baby love, not a person to person love because or relationship love, I should say, like love relationship because um yeah, the Ace of Cups reversed that you could be there is a relationship that might be, you know, you could be seeing someone and please ignore this. If you are in a committed relationship right now, this does not apply to you. But it could be that you are in some kind of beginnings of a relationship and it's just not getting off the ground. And there's definitely a message here to make that decision to move forward. Um, and I know that can suck, but it's like you're literally making room for new energy. Like, 
out with the old, in with the new, so you can meet that right person. So hopefully that makes sense. I always try to keep this positive, you know, but you know, I think you also know that this isn't really working. So, um, yeah. So Aries, that is your reading for the week. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it made sense. Make sure you get your rest and behave and I will see you next week. So bye-bye for now. Like and subscribe as well. Okay, bye. <laughs>